العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله we stand united with al mamlakat arabiya to saudiya with the kingdom of saudi arabia and fighting terror and fighting the evil of isis or daesh and other takfiri groups and we detest them because the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam described them as the dogs of the fire nabiyyu muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said al khawarij kilab an nar the khawarij those groups who declare other Muslims to be disbelievers due to their sins or due to their major sins are the dogs of the hellfire. And indeed we find that they are the dogs of the hellfire because nothing is sacred to them. The life and blood of a Muslim is not sacred. The wealth and property of a Muslim is not sacred. The rest of humanity is not safe and sacred. Nothing is precious to them except for their hizbiya, except for their call to their selves, and their call to their group, and their call to the shaitan. That's the only thing they understand and respect. And that's why violence, unfortunately, is the only thing to de- only way to deal with these people. Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that if he were living when these people were around, he would fight them the killing of Ad, meaning just to totally disseminate them, to decimate them. Why? because they're the dogs of the fire, and they have no remorse. How is it that the last day of Ramadan, or the, the day before the final day of Ramadan, these people would attack the Haram in Medina and blow themselves up? How is it that someone would wait during the hour when the Musalleen are about to break their fast, and he would blow himself up, causing damage to property and life and the sacredness of the Muslims? In the land of Tawheed, the only place that is calling the Kitabi Law was Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. How is it? What kind of aql, what kind of intellect would cause a person to transgress or cause a person to go so low that they would fall into this. And as one of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een mentioned, I believe it was Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, who said, يَقْتُلُونَ أَهْلَ إِيمَان وَيَتْرُكُونَ أَهْلَ أُوثَان or كَمَا قَالْ He said that they would kill the people of Tawheed, the people of Iman, the people of the Sunnah, and they would leave Ahla Uthan. If we study what's going on in Iraq and Syria, and we look to especially groups like Daesh, and we look to what's going on in Nigeria, and we look to what's going on in Somalia, we'll find that the same chain of demonhood is linked. And these same devils that they spend their time and energy killing the people which they call soft targets, meaning that these are the easiest ones to terrorize, meaning the people in the sulk, the people in the marketplace, the people coming out of the hospital, the people who are in uh, in the the masjids praying to Allah alone, those are the easiest targets for them. So that's who they spend their energy and their efforts attacking. For them, nothing is important except for blood. And they actually have the audacity to think with their ta'wil facid, with their wicked interpretation, that blowing themselves up, that they've actually found a shortcut to paradise. That they're going to be the inheritors of paradise. That they're going to be the ones who have the hur ain That they're going to be the ones to have jinnat and na'im and all the promises Allah, is, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised the people of paradise with. But in fact, what it shows us from the evidence from Kitabi Law wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that these evil demons will in fact inhabit their place, which is the place of the demons, which is in Jahannam. And that they, bi'idhnillah, by the permission of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, will be of those devils who blow themselves up over and over and over again in the hellfire. Because all they did in this dunya, instead of calling people to good, instead of calling people to the goodness and the light of Islam, 
They destroyed the efforts of Ahl Sunnah. They attacked the Salafiin. They attacked the people who love Kitabullah and, and strive to adhere to Kitabullah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bilad Tawheed, and other than the Bilad Tawheed that they cause fitna, yufsiduna fil ard, they cause fitna and destruction and deception around the earth. So if you are a supporter of these demons, then you will gain the same, bi'idnillah, the same sin, or a part of the sin, and the part of the transgression, transgression, because you aided them with your wealth, and you supplicated for those d demons to, to, to cause more fitna in the earth, and you supported them through social media, and you sacrifice your wealth and property and went to them and made hijra to them so that way you could be a part of death and destruction. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ كُفْرٍ وَالشِّرْكٍ وَالدَّلَالِ وَإِلْحَادٍ And anything I said that was correct was from, my, was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the evil of the khawarij of this time and those who will come after them who will probably be even more evil. Because as we see, Ahl al-Shar, Al-Qaeda was on one level of evil. But Daesh and Boko Haram, they've taken it to another level of, uh, of causing harm to the Muslims. And in fact, it is possible, and a lot of the evidence seems to point that it's possible that they are an Israeli conspiracy from Mossad or one of these other intelligence agencies, or at least have some complicity, com complicity and has some cooperation in one form or another. Because how is it that someone who says, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, could possibly spend their time, effort, and energy plotting to destroy and kill Muslims and cause fitna to Muslims? And instead of spreading the light to the non Muslims, they spend their time plotting how to attack people and kill and spread bloodshed. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ هَؤُلَّاءِ شَيَاطِينَ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمْ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدُ وَعَلَى عَلِيِّ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمْ